I don't know. Uh, I've really never had such intimate conversations with her about what her ambitions and desires were. But uh, one thing is for sure, uh, my 36 days with her in one schedule of Chingari definitely proved to me and if you've seen her performance that she's a great instinctive, intuitive actress. Now, which means she has the germ and the seed to have the ability to withdraw Sushmita Sen away from the character and to merge into the character and bring the character out onto the screen. For that, she has a gigantic combination of great intellect, tremendous focus and concentration, and a mastery of intuitive acting. That's, how, that's what I derived uh, working with her those 36 days. Whereas if you ask me, is it a continuous process? I don't know. Because I have not seen any great work of hers in the past. Um, please don't think I'm sounding arrogant. But there is nothing in cinema that she has done before Chingari which I could rave about and say made a difference in a particular film. But if you ask me why I chose her, she stands out in whatever she does. She's a natural. There is nothing forced. There's nothing fake. The smile that lights up her face. Probably if you look at her feature by feature, she's not perfectly defined. But that smile that lights up her face, the warmth of uh, the emotion in her eyes, uh, the jawline that can become very stern and yet can become very soft, all that helps in creating those characters in films. And consciously or subconsciously, with the help of directors or not, she did and she has made her mark in few of the films which have been quite indifferent. I mean, I'm sorry to say they've not been some kind of sublime masterpieces where, you know, uh, I would talk about them as cinema history. Okay. Is that what, she, what she played a very strong You know, I don't know because I'm not one of the regular uh, film readers. I watch cinema of every sort, but I truly don't follow up on gossip columns. Uh, I don't follow up on the personal lifestyles of the actors. Uh, I'm really not interested. I'm not cut out. So I think it would be wrong of me to say that I knew or that I felt Sushmita Sen is a very strong character because I, I think it's absurd. I've never met her. I didn't know her. Uh, none of the films that I saw were of anything of such importance where she stood out as somebody strong or like a Shabana Azmi who's had a retrospective of work where we've seen her in a variety of roles which then has spilled over and made her a social activist wherein your spiritual strength or your inner strength comes across. When you use the word strong, you have to underline and ask me what does strong mean? So I'm asking you, what do you mean by strong? Uh, what do you see of her? I was told by her mother, who became very friendly with me, that Sush has a, a unfortunate habit of intimidating her male co-stars. Mm -hmm. But I don't think so. Uh, what I saw of Sush was a vulnerability lurking underneath. There is what I felt, this is my own opinion, I felt there is a kind of wanting to be emotionally accepted. She is someone I felt who cannot bear the thought of rejection. And maybe that fright of uh, maybe being emotionally rejected gives her that armor of sophistication which intimidates people when they meet. But I had a very wonderful, charming experience with her. I can't say we were friends because she's a good 
20 or 25 years younger than me, old enough to be my daughter. Uh, but I felt intellectually and spiritually, she's a very, very controlled person. And if she was not a film star, the Hindi film star, I think she could go by leaps and bounds and become one of the rulers of the world in any domain that she wants to enter. And I don't want to call it a domain of frivolous fashion and film. I would say she is somebody who imbibes, somebody who listens, somebody who observes, somebody who accepts, somebody who is very straightforward, somebody who does not have double standards or hypocrisy, to an extent where I think she does cross boundaries uh, where she can hurt uh, human beings around her. But still, well, that's what makes Sushmita Sushmita.